Yo, uh, today we're gonna be doing a review on the painters, paint markers. Um, pretty good markers. They come in a five pack for fifteen dollars, which is really bad. And don't think I bought this. You saw my Office Max video. I did not buy these. There's no point. And we're gonna be comparing them to decos. Yeah, we'll start with the painters. Take the green. So yeah, um, I think they write pretty well. They don't streak up. I mean, every once in a while you gotta juice it up because it gets a little dry. But other than that, they're pretty good markers. Out of five, I give them maybe uh, a five because they're great. They're non-toxic. They don't have xylene in it, which is the thing that makes deco smell like shit. Um, yeah. Pretty simple marker. Um, right, well. Um, yeah, so pretty good. All right, so uh, now we're gonna be comparing the decos versus the painters. I got three of the same colors. White, green, and red, of course, Italian colors, but I'm not Italian. So, uh, yeah, we'll start with the painters. Take the green. Rice nice, no streaks. And the red. And on the white, we'll do later. So it takes the green deco, which is basically empty. Oh yeah, tell me if your decos do this, because when mine, whenever they get empty, they always like squish up. It's like weird. Yeah, anyway. Decos have a more broad tip. Definitely wider. Still good shit. Uh, the red. I think that decos are a little more vibrant than the uh, painters. And they're wider. The nibs are definitely softer on the painters. Uh, yeah, so now we'll do the white. So now we got the white deco and the white painter. And we're going to be comparing them by writing on my mini deck. Which I messed up a lot. Alright. Crap. Alright, there we go. So... Painter comes first. Yeah, came out all right. It's painter. So now we're going to do the deco. Oh, it's coming out a little streaky. Let's just juice it up. Alright, that's it. Peace.